Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Dicks, the musical, starring Megan the Stallion, about a pair of twin brothers. They don't know they're twins. They discover they're twins, and I guess they sing about it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, the two guys who star in this also wrote it and wrote the songs. So I commend them for doing that, but this seems like a bad idea, fellas. I mean, look, maybe the live action, this was based on a real live action musical. And maybe that played live for a theater crowd. I, I don't see who this is for for a movie crowd. Uh, live theater is a lot more interactive. You know, you get the sense anything can happen. The actors can improv a bit sometimes and change things. And songs can go off the rails and maybe they acknowledge some noise in the audience, but... Uh, as a movie, you can't do that. And uh, the songs really have to be on point or it really has to be funny or both. I don't see it here. You know, I saw the only musical I've really liked other than maybe the Rocky Horror Picture Show is, uh, you know, the Book of Mormon. And that's written by the South Park guys. It's really good. This does not look good. I didn't laugh. I don't think the songs are great. Here are the songs. Gay Old Life. All, all Love is Love. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. That that sounds uh, sounds like a groomer song. Out Alpha the Alpha and the Sewer song. The Sewer Boys, by the way, it's but written by Aaron Jackson and Josh Sharp, the stars, who also wrote the lyrics, directed by Larry Charles. I mean, maybe it plays in the theater. I don't know. Nathan Lane, he's a theater guy. Uh, what's her name? Megan Thee Stallion. I, I don't think I don't think she was probably originally in the run, but I, I guess they threw her in trying to get her crowd. I don't see how her fans would be like, ooh, a musical. Musicals tend to have a very narrow audience, I think. And movie musicals haven't been a thing in years. West Side Story, the remake of West Side Story bombed that was a monster uh musical anyhow let's break down the three acts first act the brothers are working at a company together and they're the best salesmen and they have giant junk and they sing about it uh and one day they discover they're actually twin brothers so raised by one raised by the father and one raised by the mother I guess um, so second act they decide to bring their parents back together for some reason Nathan Lane is gay uh, they try to bring him back together but Nathan Lane is gay um, again more songs I don't know who Bowen Yang supposed to be um, so I don't know. They get in trouble at some point. They sing ridiculous, vulgar songs. I don't know. The Sewer Brothers are, or the Sewer Boys are in it. And they are like, if I can find it, ridiculous puppets. Like, maybe in a live event, the puppets would have played to some extent because it just would have been another layer of live event. I don't know. The Sewer Boys, they're called. I, I just don't know who this appeals to. I don't think it would appeal to the Mega The Stallion fans. Not many of them. They're the Sewer Boys in the background. Um, the problem with doing musicals... What is this? <laughs> the problem with doing musicals as movies is it's, it kills the live vibe. And that's what you need to make these things work. And so there's a different metric involved. 
I'm sitting in a theater. I, I, I don't want to see this. I want to see car stunts. I want to see crazy stuff. You're doing stuff that would normally happen on a stage. The stage has limitations. The, the, the movie doesn't have those limitations. So when you transfer it to a movie and you don't give me outside sweeping shots and it's all inside, it gets boring after a while visually. Now, it still could be good. There are low budget features, but man, you gotta work that. And the songs have to be amazing, and it should be, this movie should be funny. Nothing in this uh, um, trailer made me laugh. I just staring at it like, with this expression on my face, like, why? Why are they doing this? Um, you know, respect to the creators, I guess, but it seems like you created something that's much more more appropriate for a theater crowd and not a movie crowd like and the theater crowd are they going to come out for this they they probably already seen the play that would be the only reason to go see the movie i guess there's a handful of people who might come out to see it because oh i heard about the play and the plays are so expensive i can't afford that but i can afford to see it in a movie and enjoy it you enjoy this kind of stuff it's like over the top slapstick vulgar comedy that doesn't seem it doesn't appeal to me and i i kind of like that stuff i mean i love tropic thunder this it, it just seems like a bunch of theater majors trying to be funny yeah um and the best version of that is hamlet 2 with uh, jackie coogan oh man is that his name no coogan can't think of his last name but uh man that movie's funny hamlet too is that his name is it jackie i can't think of the actor's name now it escapes me but yeah it's just i don't like the songs i, I nathan lane I, I you know he's fine i guess what's the appeal who's this for you know and with theater you tend to do these over the top gestures and expressions right because you're on stage and people are watching you from 80, 100, 200 feet away. So you do these big expressions so people in the back row could go, oh, I know what's going on. In a movie, you don't have to do that because the camera's right there. And when you continue to do that, even though you're in a movie, it comes off as weird and overexcited and uh, doesn't come off as realistic in any way. You know, yeah. You know, here's here's a bunch of fake stuff in the background. It's a, you know, it's all like I guess gay, fake movies. My queer lady lube. Uh, I think there was some stuff on the other side of the building, the other side of the doorway or whatever. I forget. I don't know. It just. Uh, I, I don't know what you're going for here. So, I wouldn't say it. I, I had no interest in it. Um, maybe if a friend of mine saw it and said, no, 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 it's really good. That trailer's terrible. Maybe. But I just don't see it doing very well. I see this going in and out of theaters and just psh, evaporating. Um, I don't know why A24 would make this. Why? I guess because it was a hit musical and you thought you could capitalize on that not sure why because this probably cost a few mil at least i gotta think this cost 10 20 million at least i don't even think you're gonna make that is this an international hit is this touring all over the country it just seems stupid anyhow that's it for me Tony D and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take than that, I say take it. I'll be at the LBI Book Swap in Beach Haven, New Jersey on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, to do a signing for the Pineys, books 1 through 12. Don't get that at all. Uh, I also will have my other book, F.U. I'm Italian, Why We Italians Are Awesome. That's it for me and Little Joan. We'll see you tomorrow.